Hello everybody! I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm Leanne and I'm a multimedia book artist and I'm here to share with you my latest book. I'm excited about it. It is a 4 by 6 book. There's a spine. It's a little over an inch I believe. And here's the cover. Now I bet you're saying, but Leanne, that's ugly. That's an awful cover. By gosh, I think you're right. Actually, that's the point of this book. I've made this book, struggled with it, and it's like, yeah, I don't really like that. And after putting it together and thinking through it, I decided to continue on and do it. I'm going to tell the story of that at the end of the um, flip through of the book. If you're interested in hearing it, stay tuned and you can hear that story. If you want to just see the flip through of the inside, which is adorable, go ahead and join me on that. So let's go. Here's my book on the front I have, But Loved, and there's this sweet little girl. So this book does have a pink type feel to it, which I love. I love my pinks. It says But right there. Put a little glitter. The glitter reminds me of Dorothy, Wizard of Oz. Okay, so I, I did a little bit of stamping and stenciling and things in here. And so the book just carries through that theme. It's coffee dyed paper. So you get that feel from different coffee dyed and different stamps. It was fun just going through this book and finding different stamps to put in place. Let me even go a little bit closer. Eh. There we go. Um, just finding different stamps because I wanted the stamping to do the work instead of getting the bulk from other things. I do and will be actually writing in this book, so I wanted plenty of space to just write. I love using the embossed... Um, folders, just kind of putting them through my machine and then cutting them out as tags or however I'm going to use them. Now this front actually is an embossed folder. This is, that's what, that's what brought on this ugliness. That The folder is awesome, but you know, you know, here's a little sticker. I'm not a big sticker gal in my books, but you know, I might just kind of venture out and try a little bit more. I love this stamp. I did a fussy cut of it. More things. So you're going to see kind of a a continuing type of thing. I've got the washi tape, lace, ribbon, some just to carry the theme and the feel throughout the book. I've got some netting, so I have different things for tags. This is what I made just recently. I took a magazine and did this distressing on it to make it look like an age, a little bit more muted type piece. Love doing that. I'll put the link up for that in case you want to try it. It's amazing. I just I have some fun stamps and you know I just don't use them very often so it was really nice going through and figuring out what to use in here and I think I'm gonna use them more often. Love this gal, that's a Tim Holtz stamp. I love the little birdie up there. Bees, bees are always fun, aren't they? There's another one of those distressed flowers that I told you about. It's a great easy technique. Uh, I like using this one. Used I use a lot of acrylic ink rather than the Tim Holtz Distress ink in it, and I liked that too. I think I'm going to do that more often. Actually, a lot of things in here. I think I'm actually going to incorporate more often in my books. So here we are at the end. One more flower, and once again the glitter from Dorothy. And I have a little calendar at the end so I can keep track of the date and the time. So the story behind the book. So I'm making this book and I'm really like, ah, I don't really like it. And you know, I, if you can see right here, I actually had other things and I just ripped them off. I didn't even bother trying to cover it. I left that scarred, distressed look there. As I was making the book, I, I thought about how so many things are discarded because they're not perfect. And as bookmakers, we'll make something and there's, ah, oh, there's so many beautiful, stunning things out there and if we make something that doesn't measure up it just feels like less than like 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 you're inadequate you know I get I get people commenting on my um on my Facebook group how you know they're they're nervous about posting something because it's not as perfect as someone else's and stuff and so there's just this real stress that goes on of making sure that your book measures up and so I thought no I'm not going to just discard this. I'm going to I'm going to change my attitude about it and I'm going to find the good in it. So this cover is ugly. <laughs> I felt awful about it. But the reality is that within each story, 
whether it's a cover or whether it's something in our lives like a virus may be going on, we can switch our eyes and we can find some beauty and some delight in it. So the bottom line with everything is such and such is happening, but you know what? I am loved. Um, I am just like deeply loved. I have a loving family, but also I know that God loves me beyond my comprehension and understanding because I'm just like one big hot mess. But I'm loved, and, and so are you. But beyond that, too, just within everyday life, can I look and can I see the things around me that I can find the beauty? So I can look at this book and I say, yeah, that's an ugly cover, but that girl is adorable. She's an adorable girl. Tim Holtz does great work. I have this lace. I love lace. So kind of what the, this butt statement does, it's kind of like Dorothy, I, I, I'm envisioning, like with her little red shoes, right? She clinks her heels together and like, there's no place like home. So when you use this butt statement, like, okay, so, so it's springtime here, right? And we woke up with like, I swear, three inches of snow just out of the blue. And, you know, we're looking for like flowers popping up, but suddenly it snowed. So, I was not the happiest, I must admit, but I can use that but statement. So, but you know the snow is beautiful, but it's going to melt by tomorrow. You know, you, you put that but statement there, and that's like Dorothy and her little shoes clinking together, taking you someplace else and getting that smile back on your face. So what I'm going to do with this book, I'm going to write the scenario that I'm not happy with, like... We are quarantined right now. Don't like that. Not good. Not happy. But what we're doing is ordering out some different foods that we've not normally getting or doing. Like normally we don't order out like this. And we're having it delivered to our house. So that's really fun. So we have this fun situation. So I encourage you to make what I call my butt book. Funny name. I know. Go with it though. And just keep the idea of... But, and so just start a journal so you can just like put down the thing that ticks you off, the thing that bothers you, the thing that you wish were not, and then write, write your response to that. But what can you find in it that just really is like, you know what, this is good. This is, I, I was just thinking about um, my awesome husband. I, I, I had a, an awful relationship before that it was in a long time right and it was so hard breaking up but the reality is it was a good thing it happened because I found the man I'm married to who is just the joy of my life and he he is a good good man so so I can even put that butt statement there like it hurt so bad breaking up with the person I thought I loved but I found the real person that I was supposed to be with so that's kind of a serious one that's a deep one but you know what life is deep so do your book wherever you at whether it's snow in the morning or whether it's a relationship that's breaking your heart take your book whatever it looks like it's a beauty you can find beauty in it take your book and write your book and have some fun so thanks for coming along today I hope you liked it by the way, I should tell you I did um, hand sew all these in with the pamphlet stitch and I put these on as decoration just to create a little bit of movement and delight. So if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to see you again and I'll have other fun things going on. I hope you guys are just doing well, enjoying your day, enjoying your time, and I will talk with you later. Bye.